Thursday, November 29th, and we're back in MDH for another shoot involving the robot cage. They're taking up the cement squares today and refilling it with new cement for Jeff. Um, setup's pretty much the same. We have Jabroni right now handling the roaming B-roll camera, and Sony up top on the crane, and then time-lapse cameras over there. Um, it's also another very early morning and neither of us are really with it yet, but that's pretty much all we've got going on right now. Or as it happens. Did what? I accidentally killed a bat. Where did you kill a bat? In the floor of GH5. There's there's the floor and then there's the subfloor and there's like these braces in between it because the subfloor is sagging to shit. And a bat must have just said, hey, this is a good place to live. A little sucker. Like a little just a little harmless brown bat, but you know, disease ridden. Suddenly stabbed with a crowbar, and it went, made this like sound, and I felt really bad. And then it just, I, I like, I got gloves, and I, I, I picked it up, and I tried to put it in the backyard, but it was clinging to my glove, and it didn't want to let go, and it made that little. And I was like, oh god, I'm a murderer. But I didn't get rabies. I'd like to point out that we were just sitting here shooting, and that came up. I had news. So Jabroni killed a bat. That bastard. You should be ashamed. I am slightly afraid. Do you get this one is the advantage of having a tall cameraman. I'd have to have about five apple boxes to do what he's doing right now. Don't roll this one up. Okay, I'm save this one. I got an idea for Is that some nice... And since I mentioned it, apple boxes are literally what they sound like, just boxes that are usually used to hold apples that, um, say during a shoot, someone will put an actor on or something like that. So, here's your film trivia of the day. You gotta be able to finish underneath it. It's gonna be right down on that, right on that. I'd like to know that I am vlogging with two cameras at once. We can always grab it out. We can always grab it out. So we're in the almost hour three of the shoot and they just finally got done taking out all the squares. And now they're moving on to digging down the dirt to, until they hit gravel, I guess. And then it'll be ready for concrete pours. But for now, we're waiting for them to come back because Chris distracted them with something that's supposed to help dig, I guess. I don't know. I'm tired. What are you doing? There was a zip tie not really holding this together. Uh, and it came off, and because it's a zip tie, you can't really reattach it once it falls off. So I'm putting electrical tape. Because, I mean, it already looks jank as hell. I'm not going to well, bother. Well, it me. went through hell when we did the street luge video in the back of Bad Oh, is that what truck. happened? I think it is. Ah. Either that or directly after. Ah. Luckily, though, the crane is about to get a bunch of upgrades. Uh, that's what I hear. Um, we realized we've had quite a few difficulties shooting with the crane as it is right now during the shoot because we've been trying to get some rather cool shots and it hasn't worked out. Yes, articulated moves. Um, it's basically where the crane moves one way and the little head up top moves the other to just make a really cool dynamic shot. 
and we've had problems with that because we just have we just hold on to the weights in the back and then we have the joystick not mounted really to anything so you pretty much have to hold it with your feet if you want it to be steady and so we're looking to mount a flat screen monitor to this bar here and get rid of this old jank panasonic one and we'll have a little mount coming off right here and out of it for the joystick and then batman mentioned something about a step pedal to help with lowering the crane and raising it back up but i'm not really sure how he plans to have that work because he didn't explain it very succinctly to me but that's what's about to happen to it in the short term in the long term it's supposed to get mounted on one of the robots that channel 13 donated so that'll be fun so that's what's left. Um, they're pretty much done, all packed up, ready to go. I don't know if you can see past the sunlight out there, but yep, there he is. So we're done with the shoot today. The end of it was pretty boring. It's just a lot of waiting around because you can only catch so many angles of someone digging before it gets boring. So now we're dumping so far 60 gigs of footage just to one camera, which is Sony, and then probably just going to edit and sort stuff. and get things wrapped away so that's pretty much the day um nothing else really to add so for now have fun see ya